Webflow is too expensive. Have you heard that before? I sure have, and I'm getting a little tired of hearing it. I'm gonna debunk this myth in three minutes. I'm in no way affiliated with Webflow other than the fact that I use their software on a daily basis for web design and SEO. Okay, so we have this claim that Webflow is a lot more expensive than other platforms like WordPress. But let's actually look at the numbers. How much does WordPress actually cost? Well, WordPress is free and technically Webflow is as well. But let's look at the hosting since the hosting is what we're actually paying for. WordPress hosting usually costs anywhere from $3 a month to $25 a month. So let's say you go with a $3 a month plan. That almost certainly will get jacked up to six or $7 at least a month after the first year. That's just what the hosting companies do. In fact, SiteGround is now charging $15 a month for your second year of hosting with them. That's $15 for the startup plan. Webflow on the other hand is a lot more expensive. They charge $400 a month for their hosting. Oh really? I guess they actually charge about the same as WordPress. Uh, it's $12 for a basic plan and $16 a month for the CMS plan. So they're basically the same price, but here's the kicker. If you use a page builder with WordPress, which is very popular, like Divi or Elementor, Divi, for example, costs $90 a year. That's $750 extra per month. Okay, so we're about to enter my main point, and this point tears all other arguments to shreds, and that is performance. What are you getting out of the website builder? Take this for example, you can either purchase an old rusty beat up Volkswagen for $500 or you can purchase a 2015 Ford Fusion for $5,000. Which one are you going to purchase? Now remember, you're depending on this to get you to work every day. You're depending on this to pick up your kids from the school bus every day. You can't have this thing break down. You can't have issues with it. You're going to purchase the Ford Fusion because you know it's more dependable even though you're going to pay extra for it. That old Volkswagen is probably going to break down in a month and you're going to end up paying more to fix it than you would if, if you would have just bought the 2015 Ford Fusion in the first place. So you're going to pay the premium to have better performance and higher security. And with what I just went over with the pricing, Webflow is barely if any more expensive than WordPress and other platforms. Few people disagree that Webflow is an upgrade to WordPress when you're designing websites, so I'm confused. Why are people still complaining about the price of Webflow when you're obviously getting a lot more out of it and it's not even that much more expensive? Now, even if you find cheap hosting with WordPress for $5 a month, is the extra $11 a month really that detrimental? I understand the case for a nonprofit or maybe even a personal website, but if you're a legit business, $11 a month? And I understand money is tight for a lot of people and a lot of businesses, especially right now. But you have to take your website as an investment. It is an investment, so you should start treating it like one. Now, where WordPress and other platforms may actually have a leg up is e-commerce. Webflow is still somewhat expensive in that arena, and they're still not quite there yet. Again, I want to make clear, I have no affiliation with Webflow. I don't make money from them. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just want to help make this topic more clear because I hear it all the time. I see it in uh, the Facebook Webflow Designers group. It just it doesn't make sense to me, and I want to just share my thoughts on it. And if anyone from Webflow is watching this video, please do not think that I'm giving approval to raise your prices. They are just fine how they are.